chapter 18, verse 1. The Bible says, And he spake in parable unto them, to this end, that men ought always to pray and not to faint. In the book of Acts, chapter 16, verse 25 to 26, the Bible says, And at the midnight, Paul and Silas prayed, and sang praises unto God, and the prisoners heard them. And suddenly there was a great earthquake, so that the foundation of the prison were shaken, and immediately all the doors were opened, and everyone's bound were loose. Close your eyes. Shout this prayer point loud and clear. Say, my prayer life, my prayer altar, hear the word of the Lord. Come alive, come alive, come alive, come alive, come alive. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. You are welcome to Evangelist Joshua TV, a TV station that will teach you how to interpret your dreams with warfare prayers. Our topic today is dream about praying. Dream about praying. Do you love to pray? How often do you pray? In a day? In a week? In a month? Do you take prayer as your daily routine? Have we ever used the power of prayer against the devil and you won? Has it ever bothered you why your prayers are not being answered? Praying to God can bring solution to a man's problems. Praying to God is the key to open and to close. Prayer is the master key. Jesus started his ministry with prayer and ended that ministry with prayer. You must do that same today. Prayer is a big source of communication between man and God. Prayer gives the privilege to talk to God. Without prayers, problem lingers and progress are hindered. The best way to fight and win over the devil is through prayers, warfare prayers. The Bible says, put on the old armor of God so that you may be able to stand against the wise of the wicked. If you want to marry, you need prayer. If you want healing in that sickness, you need prayer. If you want to succeed, you need prayer. If you want to break financial costs in your life and in your family, you need prayer. So when you are dreaming about praying, you have to put into consideration your relationship with God. When you are dreaming about praying, you have to know who has the ability, who God has anointed to lay hands on you, to prophesy into your life, to issue a decree into your life. When you are dreaming about praying, then you have to put into consideration your spiritual state. So we have some meanings behind praying in the dream. When you are dreaming of praying in your dream, what does it connote? Number one, it represents pray without ceasing. Number two, it represents pray with an expected acts and faith. Number three, it represents pray with understanding in the word of God. Number four, it represents pray with total attention. Number five, it represents pray with specific prayer requests. Number six, pray in spirit and in truth. Number seven, pray in the leading of the Holy Spirit. Eight, believe in the prayer of the prophets. Nine, develop, develop and build a prayer relationship with God. In the book of Matthew chapter 6 verse 7, the Bible says, But when he prayed, Use not vain repetition, as the hidden do, for they think that they shall be heard, for they are much speaking. I pray, may the Lord give you wisdom, and may the Lord give you that spirit to pray without ceasing in the name of Jesus Christ. The power of prayers can overcome enemies. The power of prayers can revive the dead. The power of prayers can bring up a lost soul. Does your case require prayers? You need to pray. Praise the living Jesus. When we are talking about dream about praying, praying for somebody or somebody is praying for you, prayer generally in the dream can also represent 
prayers as a solution bring solution prayers brings relief from your problems prayer brings peace prayer brings happiness prayer restores faith prayer brings healing prayer brings protection and prayer brings hope may you have that hope in the name of Jesus Christ so in some cases whether you are praying in tongues when you are praying in tongues automatically your spirit is active when you are praying in tongues it means that you are having a, a communion you are having a special communication between you and God in an unknown language may the Lord give you that gift and if you have that gift start praying in other tongues then in some cases whereby you saw yourself praying to God you lift up your hands and you were praying to God you are having a good time with God perhaps you are in a situation and you want that situation to end perhaps you are praying to God for God to hear your prayers perhaps you are praying to God for God to heal your situation perhaps you are praying to God for breakthrough you are praying to God for favor you are praying to God for the front of the womb you are praying for God to God for marital breakthrough the purpose which you are attaching to the praying to God in that dream even in your reality as you are believing God for several things I pray the Lord will grant your desires in the name of Jesus Christ so in some cases whereby you are praying for someone when you are praying for someone then it's not time for you to intercede God is telling you that you need to intercede for others a dying soul a depressed life a frustrated life a hopeless life is somebody somebody that are determined to hand up his life to suicide but God is connecting you to that person whether the person is known to you or unknown to you but the message behind that dream is for you to reach out to somebody through evangelism pray for that person reach out to that person that is your only way God can remember you I pray may the Lord remember you in Jesus name in some cases whereby you are praying in the church when you are praying in the church that is a good dream it means that you are you you are, your your spirit is very alert when you are praying in the church it means that you are, you are you are rendering your service to God when you are praying to God in the church it means that you have a communion unbroken relationship between you and God and if you are a Christian if you are a person who is having that difficulty you are you are been praying but you discover that that environment is not conducive for your prayers then this kind of dream is telling you for you to go to a church and pray because that's the only way God can answer your prayers so in some cases whereby you are you are praying aloud when you are praying aloud it can be can be split it can be split in two ways when you are praying aloud then God wants you to pray well God wants you to pray aggressively with enough is enough God wants you to pray with understanding. God wants you to pray in spirit and in truth. And God does not want your prayers to disturb your neighbors. And God does not want your, your prayer to be as a threat to your neighbor. So when you are praying aloud in the spirit, it's a good omen. It means that your spirit is demanding for you to pray very well. Because when you are praying aloud in the dream or even the physical, it demands or it requires extra effort from you and hard work so when you are praying in the midnight in the dream when you are praying in the midnight in the dream congratulations it means just like the Paul and Zala pray in this prison and there was freedom I pray there will be freedom in your life in Jesus name are you a Christian who have not been praying in the dream in the, uh, praying in the midnight this dream about praying in the midnight is telling you that your miracles has been encapsulated at the midnight the Lord is telling you that it's time for you to take midnight prayer and if you have been taking midnight prayer, there have never been signs and wonders and miracles. It's as if the more you are praying, the more nothing is no signs. God is telling you that also change the environment, whether go to church, go to prayer camp, go to mountain and pray. And when you pray that prayer in the midnight, depending on the time, God wants you to take that midnight prayer. So in some cases, whereby you are crying while praying, it means that you are in a sorrow. And God wants you to cast your burdens onto Him. When you are crying while praying, it means that you are in a very, very uncomfortable situation. And you have been praying to God for God to arise and heal your situation. When you are crying and praying, just like the woman 
of the issues of law in the Bible. As he was crying, God heard his prayer. God heard his crying and there was restoration. And it means that uh, you have been crying for God to answer your prayers. You have been crying for God to remember you. You have been crying for God to open your doors, to intervene in your matter. I pray as you are crying over that problem and you, as you are believing God for a miracle, today that miracle will come for you in the name of Jesus and that tears of sorrow shall turn to tears of joy in your life in Jesus' name. So in some cases whereby, whereby you are praying on the sand, when you are praying on the sand, it means that God wants you to pray on the foundation of a particular house. When you are praying on the sand, God wants you to pray concerning against and against some powers in a particular environment. When you are praying on sand, God wants you to pray on the foundation of your life. So in some cases where you are praying for your family, God wants you to intercede and uphold your family in prayers. This is very good because God might use your prayer weapon to bring about healing, to bring about solutions, to bring about deliverance in the life of your family in Jesus' name. So in some cases whereby your pastor is praying for people, when your pastor is praying for people, it means that your pastor is doing well, is performing miracles, is doing wonders. But if your pastor is praying for you, it means that God, the prayer of your pastor is going to be, is going to bless you. The prayer of the prophet is going to change your life in the name of Jesus. So in some cases whereby you are unable to pray, when you find out that you are unable to pray, it means a spirit of prayerlessness. When you are refusing to pray, it means that uh, you, are, you, are, you are passing through a process of faithlessness. In some cases, whereby you are, you are taking warfare prayers in the dream. When you are taking warfare prayers in the dream, that is also a good dream. It means that that prayers, for you to come out from that problems, for you to come out from that issues, that causes, you need aggressive prayers. You need aggressive prayers. This is not a time for you to sleep and slumber. This is not the time for you to pray one single prayers and go back to your sleep. This is not the time. Ah, evangelist, ah, these prayers are too long. I don't, I, don't, I don't have that strength. I don't have that time. Yeah, when you are taking warfare prayer in the spirit, your spirit is telling you or God is telling you for you to embark on serious warfare prayers. So in some cases whereby, in some cases whereby you are sick while praying, it means that uh, you need to pray concerning a sickness. When you are seeking while praying, it means that God wants to use that prayer to heal your situation. If you are sick and you are, if you are sick in your real life, then God wants you to pray more concerning that sickness. If you pray more or you, you, you call other people to join you in prayers, then that sickness that has been afflicting your life will be over in Jesus' name. So in some cases whereby you are praying on the higher mountain, when you are praying on the higher mountain, God wants you to go to a particular environment. God wants you to go to a prayer environment and have a communion with Him. So in some cases whereby you are praying together with your partner, family and friends, it means that, you are, it means that God wants you to pray together. Pray together with your family. God wants you to pray alongside with your friends. God wants you to pray alongside with your families. That's the only way there will be collective blessings, collective anointing. Praise the living Jesus. I pray whatever problems that have been passing through, prayer shall solve it in the name of Jesus Christ. So when you are dreaming of, of praying, it is a dream preparing you for battle ahead. When you are praying in the dream, it is preparing you for a battle ahead. You have to get ready for it. When you pray, when praying, faith is required. So you need faith. You need faith for that prayers to be answered. What is that situation you are believing God for? Do not bring down your faith. Continue to have faith in God and the Lord will answer your request in Jesus name. So if you have been dreaming about praying, what is the way out? Surrender your life to Jesus Christ, walk out of salvation and live righteously. Develop the habit of praying without ceasing. Join a prayer partner in your church. Go to prayer camp and settle your case with God. Change your orientation about prayer. The instructions is to embark on the 
seven days fasting and prayers between 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. Close your eyes. Shout this prayer point loud and clear. Say, O oh Lord, fill me with the spirit of prayer in the name of Jesus. O oh Lord, fill me with the spirit of prayer in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say, every power in my environment that is resisting my prayer, catch fire in the name of Jesus. Every power in my environment that is resisting my prayer, catch fire in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say, any power assigned to keep my prayer life, I bury you today. I bury you today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say, I refuse to sleep when I should pray in the name of Jesus. I refuse to sleep when I should pray in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Take this last prayer point loud and clear. Say, any agenda of darkness to remove prayer as a solution to my problems, die in the name of Jesus. Any agenda of darkness to remove prayers as the solution to my problem, die in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. If you are blessed by that broadcast, write to them, pointing to prayers, praying for people, or whatever experience is that dream, rather write them at the comment section. If you have not yet subscribed, subscribe today. This is Evangelist Joshua from Lagos.